All right, Pro Digital Gear has something really special for you today. We are going to show you how to set up the Pearl Elite pre-treatment machine, and we are going to give you a detailed walkthrough of the menu system. The first thing we have here is our touchscreen user interface, which has all the main controls for the Pearl Elite. Next, we have our garment platen, where we place our garments to be treated. On the garment platen, there's a platen height adjustment. You can adjust the height of the platen on all four sides. And this is in a super convenient platen drawer. Now when you need to clean the inside of the Pearl Elite, the platen drawer releases. Underneath on the track, there are two levers that release the drawer. Press those both at the same time and pull the drawer out. Just make sure you align the tracks and push the drawer back in. Pearl Elite also has windows on three sides of the box that open for you to reach in and clean if necessary. Our guide also tells us to never open these windows during a pretreatment cycle. We also have our nozzle cap which twists off very conveniently if you need to clean or replace the nozzle. Of course we have our on and off switch and our fan exhaust and our pretreat inlet. We'll show you how to connect the tubing to this soon. The nozzle is broken up into four separate parts. The nozzle cap, the nozzle, the rubber seat, and the check valve. To replace the nozzle, first twist off the nozzle cap. Then you're going to have to remove the rubber seat. Use something to do this gently. It should come out pretty easily. Then replace the nozzle. You were provided with an extra nozzle as well and this easily fits back in the nozzle cap. Do not forget to put the rubber seat back in. And also check the check valve before twisting back on the nozzle cap. To set up and start using your Pearl Elite, you will need an all-purpose cleaner, shop rags or towels, and distilled water. In our user guide, there is a huge warning, and it tells us that this machine must be cleaned daily after each use. It also says that the pretreatment should not sit idle in the machine for more than 30 minutes. It also tells us to flush the machine with distilled water only. First, we can plug in our power cord into the connector located on the back of the Pearl Elite right next to the exhaust fan. It's probably a good idea that you put your Pearl Elite on a power strip or surge protector. You can now power on your Pearl Elite by pressing the power button. Let's go ahead and walk through our user interfaces on the main screen. This is our home screen. We have our start and stop button. You press this to start or stop the spray cycle. You have your light pretreat level meter, which displays the estimate light pretreat remaining. You have your dark pretreat level meter, which displays estimated dark pretreat remaining. You have your garment selection, either light or dark, your spray length area, your cycle counter, spray density setting, your save menu, your settings menu, your home menu, your maintenance menu, and your stats menu. Let's look at our save menu first. You can save your configuration settings on the Pearl Elite, and you can save up to 20 different files for configured settings. These are located here. Right here you have your settings display, which displays the current settings for the mode to save. You have your save button, you can then open your files with this button, and then you can also delete files with this button. Now let's go over to our settings menu. We have our light pretreat level meter, dark pretreat level meter, garment selection, spray length area, fan on and off, select light garment button, select dark garment button, spray length setting, spray density setting, and spray density slider. Now we can go ahead and click on our maintenance menu. We have our nozzle cart position, power off button, adjustment button, water auto prime button, water manual prime button, light and dark pretreatment selection, pretreatment auto prime button, and pretreatment manual prime button. Now let's go to our stats menu. This helps you keep track of your cost for material. You have your light pretreat level meter, your dark pretreat level meter, your level meter amount, you have your reset level meter, light pretreatment cost per gallon, and dark pretreatment cost per gallon. Your machine info button, cycle counter, shirt cost, total run cost, reset cycle count, spare parts such as the nozzle, solenoid, check valve, and pump 
can also be purchased. And I might have mentioned this throughout the video, but it's very important. Priming and flushing needs to be done as specified. The machine keeps track of when you prime and when you flush. See a detailed explanation on how this is done in our next video. If you have any questions, you can always call the knowledgeable staff at Pro Digital Gear, 1-888-459-1482, or visit our websites, pdgvip.com and prodigitalgear.com, or send us an email at sales at prodigitalgear.com. Thanks for watching.